the nickel expert tonight. Tonight I've got the Jolly Cloud 1.1. Now I didn't do the original one because so many other people were doing it and I thought uh, that bloody point. But this one's a little bit different because it's a bit more sophisticated. So this is the main screen you get. A bit like a Netbook Remix, if you use Ubuntu Netbook Remix, but not. But it is based on Ubuntu now, by the way, and you can get it for the desktop as well as Netbooks. Because remember, it was based for Netbooks, really. So that's what you get. You get some stuff here, that's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not going to show you my settings. No, I'm not. No way, man. No way. But yes, on the whole, it looks really good. Now, my little girl really likes the look of this. She does, because she liked Ubuntu Network Remix, but it just wouldn't run on her system. So we might give this a go in a day or two. But as you can see, that gives plenty of wallpapers to play with, which is nice, because I think this is aimed at a younger market, personally. It wouldn't be available for me. Well, it is available for me, but I wouldn't really want to use it. Because oh, that's not the sort of thing I do. But if you're the younger generation, you may like the sort of thing, and you live on the cloud, which is basically what it's for at the end of the day. Everything's synced all to the, your stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, we're using Chromium. That's it. There's their page. It's nice. It comes up nice. It renders nice. So yeah, I was pretty you know, happy about that. That was alright. Yeah. So I'll scrub the camera. No, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Here we go. So anyway, what else have we got down here? That's interesting. Because I, as I've actually not done it before, I've got Facebook. I'm not going to do that one. Twitter. Now I do use my Twitter account occasionally. When I'm uploading, and maybe I'll look for people that I'm interested in and stuff like that. So I'm going to put myself in, and I'll put my password in, and then we'll go from there. And you'll see my Twitter account. Oh no, he says. So wait five seconds, four, four, two, one, and it's done. There you go. I'm logged in almost. Well, I'm waiting for it anyway. So there you go. There you go. I'm in. That's my Twitter account. There's some guys here you should follow if you're really into stuff, you know what I mean? But if you're not, don't worry about it. You'll learn about them in the end. But yeah, Twitter works really nice. It's quite seamless. So yeah, I ain't got to no problems about that, really. So what else can I show you? All right, next on the agenda, even. Gmail, Flickr, YouTube, even. So we'll check out YouTube. And now what I'm going to do, because I can't really show you other videos, I'll show you one of my own, and I'm not breaking the law. I love it when I'm not breaking the law, because it's great. So yeah, there's my little page, there's some of my videos, so I'm just going to click on one, and we'll click on it, and wait for it to render, well, do what it's got to do anyway. My net speed's gone down, God, blimey. me. Oh, oh there we go. That works alright, nice and clear, I like it, that's okay. I mean, this is ideal if you just live on the net, basically, which, if you're between the ages of 12 and 24, I think you may do. I just know one of my videos here. Don't about the law again, of course. But yeah, it works all seamlessly. So I'm you know, pretty happy about that. Yeah, I'll scroll down a bit more. Just show a bit more. There's some other people's there. That, that's all right. Enough of that. Let's get rid of that. So, Google Docs. Now, I haven't used Google Docs for a while, although I've got an account. Now, when I first signed up, all you had was documents. Now you've got lots of stuff. Now, I'm not going to sign in. Because I don't want to sign in. But, what we're going to do, we're going to go over here, and we're going to click on Presentations, and it'll give you a, a quick run-through, it's just like a little slideshow, basically, of their presentations. So, from the last time I used it, which was about a year ago, I'll be really honest, because I use Zoho more than anything else, I'm going to use online stuff, but Google Docs, yeah, works fine, look, nice. I can't fault it, really, can I? No, I can't. New York Times, <laughs> Space Invaders, Old Style Gamey, can I build? News Mac. Now, this is a really interesting app here. Yeah? Do I call it an app? Is it an app if it's on a netbook? I thought apps are only for mobile devices. Well, it is a mobile device, but a large one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'll click my country as well. It's like a little mind game of news, isn't it, really? If we wait a minute, now you see what I mean. So I've clicked my country only, and it's all the stuff that's going on in my country, and you've got big boxes that's going down, and little boxes that's going down, and boxes that are doing stuff that I'm not really interested in. And the smaller ones are not really interesting, apparently, to other people. But they might be interesting to me. So you have to click on them, and then, obviously, the more people watch them, the more they'll give me in the box, apparently. Oh, you know, not this anti-tracking tool. Oh, God, give me a break, for God's sake. Anyway, apart from that, yeah, what's this one here? Oh, yeah, I'll, we'll do this one. Student on two-week university tuition fee protest. In the UK here, a lot of big things going on about uh, universities and stuff. See, look, video works fine. I can't knock it, can I, really? 
super duper. Ted, you should all know Ted, and you should all know Wikipedia too. So anyway, get to our next page. Simple note, looks all right. Google Voice USA only, no good for me. Academic Earth, Morg and Jackson, whoever it is. I don't, know. I don't like that desktop. I don't like grey bar. Let's just another one. I'm trying that green leafy. That looks a bit better now. Nicer. And it covers my whole screen. Even better. I like it so much more now. Oh, yes. So, yeah. So far, Jolly Cloud is clicking all the boxes for that age group, shall I say. I suppose I could have it on that book if I took one around me, but I don't, I don't do that sort of stuff. Well, I do, but never mind. So, we'll click on all apps. Now, you could go on, on and on and on here and all apps. Look. Oh, God, blimey, full screen weather. Gro groove Sharks now. I like Groove Shark, that's really nice. Got Pigeon in there, Skype and everything else. Go to page two. Look. You got Gimpy in there, you got Transmission, you got HMO5. Bear in mind it's based on HTML5 as well, don't forget that bit. It's not the other stuff. No. Go to page three, look, there's more and more. I mean, I'll go on and on and on, so I'm going to actually start doing different stuff in here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add Abbey Word. Because you don't have to use a cloud all the time. You can have stuff on your computer. Because, not being funny, you really need to have it on your computer, really, if it's that important, don't you? So, it's in the cloud as well as on your computer. You get what I'm saying? I know you do. I've got a BBC iPlayer there. That's applicable to me because I'm in the UK. So, I can get me iPlayer stuff. You know, Strictly Come Dancing and stuff like that. And Antiques Roadshow and old people stuff. <sighs> anyway, yes. I don't watch them, really, no. I don't get a chance to watch TV, I'm too busy most of the time. Okay. Abbey Word's installing and it's going to install its stuff and do its bits and bobs. So we have to wait a little while. The BBC I plans installing, preparing, downloading and doing its stuff and it will be done for us. Now bear in mind now you can actually have this on a proper desktop. Not just a netbook or a tab or whatever you want to call it. You can actually choose what you want to have it on. Makes it a lot easier. You can get an ISO as a download, not just a USB thing, either, or VDI, whatever you want to call it. You can get everything you want to. Right? Seesaw there, YouTube, Myros even there. Top Gear, oh, what's this? Wixie, oh, Wixie, Wixie, let's have a look. Wixie, yeah, does your photos, music videos, anyway, you send media. It's cloud based again, so you actually sync everything up and it's all done there. I'm not sure if I'd really use that, but you may want to, you know. And you can get more and more stuff all the time. They're getting more and more and more. Next page we're going to do. We're still in video, by the way. We've not even gone up the road. God blimey. Memo moving with the, the, the mob. And we've got TV Gorge, live stream, video, V pod is all there. Rip roll, Jenny, Sky Player. So if you subscribe to Sky. So I'll say that again. Subscribe to Sky. You can have the Sky Player as well. you got a motherboard building. Blimey. Oh, warm yourself out there. We'll go to storage. Now, under storage, you can have the Dropbox clients and the Dropbox web application, Zumo Drive, BoxNet, Gorona, and SugarSync. SugarSync, well, I'm not familiar with that one personally myself. Social media, now, I'm not really into social media that much because I don't get the time to do it, but everybody else in the house does. Now, of course, they usually use Facebook and stuff like that, but there's some other stuff here that is really, really quite cool. There's one here, DeviantArt. Oh, I'm a member of DeviantArt. Oh, I'm a big photographer, so I'll add myself there, so I can check out myself what I'm doing. Nice, like it. So while it's doing its stuff, we're going to do something else. We'll have another member page. Look, this is just in social media. There is lots and lots of stuff here. But you could call it like the Ubuntu um, Package Manager or the Software Center, but it's not really. It's a little bit different. It could be the same, but it's just packaged different. There's a lot of things I haven't actually tested on it yet, and I'll give you a rundown of that soon, I think. Because I think Sneaky Girl really, 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 really wants this on a desktop, basically. Because that's what they want at that age. Yeah. Well, I know what you mean, yeah. Got my coach there. G Numeric, look. Me baby's there, look. Calc's there for Open Office. Get to the next page. There's more and more and more and more. Now, this could be the way it's laid out, it makes it more appealing. And I think it is, really. It's more appealing if you've got it all set out, you can click on something, it's nicely laid out. Really nice to me, that is. Yeah. Go to the next page, shall we? I'll make this quite a long video, actually, aren't I? I was going to make it quite a short one, but I made it a long one. If we go to music, you can get Spotify, no problem. Everything's done for that. The Cloud Player, Pandora, Audacity, Radio Tuna. Is that for listening to music under the sea? 
I'll take it. Okay. Next one we've got media. We've got the Google Reader, New York Times, BBC News, all the stuff like that. Now bear in mind a lot of these will just be links. They won't be actually installed on your system. They'll just be like things on the desktop. But it's just a quick way of doing the stuff, isn't it? Pixlr is one example of that. And this is a web app, but basically all it's doing is downloading it. But this the icon basically, and when you click on it, you'll go to the site and off you go and do your pictures. I've done this in a video not too long ago actually. About four days ago, something like that. Communication, Gmail, Pigeons there, XChat, Yahoo, Web Messenger, Skype there, Thunderbird, Windows Live Hotmail. Now I've not had a good chance to check this out yet. But if it works correctly, the youngsters will love this. God, I'm so old. Blimey. Where's my sticks? Anyway, I'm going to download that because I'm going to check this out over the next couple of days and we'll, I'll get back to you. Maybe. I'm not going to promise. It might just crash on me because I've actually installed this system. So we'll see how we get on, shall we? So anyway, that's done its stuff. Then, of course, if you use Skype a lot, you'd download Skype, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Gmail I've told you all about. Now we'll go back to my desktop again. And on the second screen here, look. But Windows Live is there. And we'll open them up. Have a look. Well, it looks all right to me, but it's just a web page at the end of the day, isn't it? It's a link to the web page, but it works, hopefully. Pixlr, on the other hand, that works too. BBC player, that works too. I tried that a bit earlier, that's no bleeding problem. We'll do that. Local apps, these are the ones that actually stay on the computer, so there's plenty there. And I've installed a couple, and I should I open that one? Yeah, no, I don't know if I'm being asked, really. Yeah, go on, we'll open one. Now, it's all the stuff that you've got on your system. And as you can see, by the file browser, you know it's Ubuntu. It looks like XFCE stroke LXDE to me. So, yeah, it's on a good base. It ain't going to crash too often, really, is it? So that's not too bad. I like it. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Now, we're getting to this video now. Now, Jolly Cloud on the whole, I've quite enjoyed. I've got to open Abbey Word up now as well. Yeah, I've really quite enjoyed it. It's a bit different... I'm not sure if I could use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe I could, because, you know, there's a lot of GUI here. But my daughter really, really likes it, and her friends have seen it too, and they also really like it. So maybe a couple of uh, people from Windows coming over to Linux again. Love it. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, I really like it. What more can I say? Not a lot, really. But yeah, I'm not saying different. Jolly Cloud, now it's on a desktop. It's a viable alternative for something like that. Sneaky Linux going out to play.